wonderful people who I just wish to share with you how I made um, archery in one of my apartments at home. You too, you can do same if you have a piece of land around you. But I already made a video on what you need to uh, put in place before having or starting this business. So I just want to walk you through where I did my own hatchery and also how we did the whole process. So right now we are trying to check how many of these uh, tanks we fit into this 12 feet by 12 feet room. So right now we are trying to perforate and that is going to be the outlet, water outlet. Having done that, you're going to put some screw. I don't know. I don't know this terminology. So, yeah, we are done. And uh, are we really done? We are not 100% done. We are like uh, 75 completed. 75% completed. So, the next thing we are going to do here is um, I will show you what you need to know and what you need to see and what you also need to put in place. If you want to do something like this, as you can see, I'm doing my own in my room, in one of my spare room. And um, if you don't have this uh, facility to yourself, I think the best bet of it is go to the farm. As you can see, in Africa, we call it room and palace self-contained. But um, if you are in the Western world, you call it, uh, is it not a condo? So something like that is where I am. I have converted into <clears throat> my archery. So that is what you can see here. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see it. So right here, we're trying to perforate all these outlets. Put the outlet and inlet. This one is the inlet. So the other one I showed you is a bigger pipe this is outlet. Okay, this one is the outlet. Okay, so right here we are trying to fix the outlet. And this is my outside pump. Pond, rather, 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 rather. I'm sorry. Outside pond. This is more or less like my, where I'm going to put my grow out my fingerlings. And I can as well raise my fish here. The capacity of this can take up to like um, 250 each if I don't want overcrowding up to sell out and this is what I want to show you this is the outlet water outlet I'm trying to channel the water outlet so that the water will be able to move elsewhere some people might be asking will this not be leaking is leak free so it has been tested and that is how I plan to channel my water but along the way I think I changed my plan you're going to see what we did also here we are like 80% um, completed we have connected all the water bath or what you call your pond we've connected them together so that we just have one source of out, uh, outlet as you can see can you see Everything goes out, and those are the inlets. Very wonderfully made. Though the inlet is okay, here we've completed the in, uh, inlet, the water inlet, as you can see. The perforated hose is just to increase the oxygen content of that water because your fish they really love swimming water and anything that looks like a fountain or droplet like this they enjoy it rather than a gushing water and that is the essence of having a perforated outlet like this i hope you understand so this is how it looks don't mind the ground the ground is very dirty but uh, we're going to clean it when we have the opportunity to do so so here we are, we have the water dropping. We are trying to fill up the tank to some level. And having done that, the next thing you want to do is to cover the window. 
and of course once you are done with your arching this is what you want i'm trying to feed my earthen pond fishes with alacqua i use several types of uh, feeds don't worry in my other videos i'm going to be talking about the feeds i am going to be recommended for you for profitability if you want to be profitable with uh, fish farming so guys that is actually what i want to share with you and if you derive value from watching this leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel because on this channel this channel is going to be like a, a documentary channel where i would document my process in the arching and also on the feed uh, pond you are going to see everything without missing one bye for now